Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this alien skin shader in Blender. So let's get started. For this you can use any object you like. I'm going to add a UV sphere, press Ctrl 3, go to the modifiers and set the level sphere port and render to 6. Depending on the object you might have to use different levels. We are going to need the geometry for the displacement node. Now let's go to shading. This will only work in cycles. I'm going to put a link to the HDRI that I'm using in the description. In the render properties set the max samples to 1024 and go to film and make it transparent. If you want you can go to color management and set the field transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Now click on new. Let's also shade smooth. Set the subsurface to 0.1 and make the subsurface color a light red. Add a displacement node and put that here. Plug the displacement into the displacement. As you can see, nothing happens. That's because you need to go here and type in displacement and go to the material properties and under displacement, set it to displacement and bump. Set the mid level to zero and add a Voronoi texture. And let's plug the distance into the height. Set it to smooth F1. Add a color ramp. And let's flip it. And now bring the black into somewhere around here and the white here. I set the white to 0.28. Let's grab these two nodes and bring them over here. Add a mix node and set it to color. Let's duplicate that and plug the result into A. Now plug this result into the scale and this one into the normal. Add a bump node and put it here. Let's use the height. Set the strength to 0.1 and plug the normal into the normal of the principal BSDF. Now take the color of the color ramp and plug it into A. Duplicate the color ramp, flip this color ramp and bring the white back here and make it gray. Add a noise texture and plug the factor into B. Set the scale to 100 and the detail to 15. Duplicate this noise texture and plug the factor into the B of this mix node. For this one let's set the scale to 2500. Take this result here and plug it into the base color. Let's also plug it into the roughness. Add a color ramp and put it here and bring the black into somewhere around here. I forgot to set the scale here to 25. I'm also going to make this gray here even darker, like this. Duplicate the color ramp and let's bring the black back to somewhere around here and make the white a light gray. Now let's save. Go back to layout mode. Let's go into rendered view and hit shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and I'm going to place it somewhere around here. I'm going to set the focal length to 130 and bring it over here. Go up here and enable the snapping and set it to face project, add an empty plane axis and press G and put it here. Set this back again. With the camera selected, enable depth of field and select the empty and set the blades to 16. I think I'm going to move the empty closer to the camera. I'm also going to add an area light. Let's bring that here and press R twice. In the world properties, I'm going to set the strength to 0.15. Now with the area light selected, let's scale it up. I'm going to set the power to 15. With the light selected, let's press 7 on the numpad and press Shift D. And now move the light behind the camera and rotate it. Make sure to move it further away from the object than the first light. Save again and go to compositing. Enable use nodes and denoising data and add a denoise node set to accurate. If you want you can also go up here to render and enable lock interface. As you can see it says here that it will give more memory to the renderer. Save again and press F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the boundaries on screen now. I'll see you next time.